Welcome to our YouTube channel A to Z Summary. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel East of Eden by John Steinbeck. Before proceeding further I request you to please subscribe our channel and like the video, also comment your favorite books and novel so that I can provide summary for it, now let's start with the summary. The themes of the novel are The characters of the novel are East of Eden by John Steinbeck is a multi-generational saga that looks into the intricate dynamics of family, the complexities of human nature, and the enduring themes of good versus evil and free will versus destiny. Set in the Salinas Valley of California, the novel follows the story of two families, the Trasks and the Hamiltons, and their intertwined destinies over generations. The narrative unfolds through the eyes of Cal Trask, a young man grappling with his identity and the weight of his family's past. The story begins in the mid-19th century, introducing the Trask family patriarch, Cyrus Trask. A successful businessman and pillar of the community, Cyrus harbors a dark secret, he is the illegitimate son of a wealthy landowner, Samuel Hamilton. Cyrus's past haunts him, fueling his desire to prove his worth and establish a respectable legacy. Cyrus's life takes an unexpected turn when he falls in love with Faye Morehouse, a beautiful but troubled woman. Their marriage is tumultuous, marked by Faye's instability and Cyrus's attempts to control her. Despite their struggles, they have two sons, Charles and Adam. As Charles and Adam grow, their contrasting personalities become apparent. Charles, the elder, is charming and manipulative, while Adam, the younger, is sensitive and introspective. Their rivalry mirrors the biblical story of Cain and Abel, foreshadowing the tragic events that lie ahead. Cyrus's obsession with wealth and status leads him to make a Faustian bargain with his half-brother, George Hamilton. The deal involves selling off a portion of Cyrus's land, a decision that has devastating consequences. Charles, embittered by his father's favoritism towards Adam, manipulates George into revealing Cyrus's secret illegitimate birth. The revelation shatters Cyrus's reputation and breaks his spirit. He dies a broken man, leaving Adam to inherit his troubled legacy. Adam, burdened by his father's shame and his own self-doubt, struggles to find his place in the world. Charles, consumed by jealousy and resentment, concocts a scheme to ruin Adam. He frames Adam for the murder of their father's former business partner, resulting in Adam's unjust imprisonment. While in prison, Adam experiences a spiritual awakening, finding solace in his faith and a newfound determination to live a righteous life. After his release from prison, Adam returns to Salinas, determined to rebuild his life and prove his innocence. He finds solace and support in Kathy Ames, a kind and compassionate woman. Their relationship blossoms into love, and they marry, hoping to create a new and better life together. However, Kathy's past resurfaces, revealing a dark secret that threatens to destroy their budding happiness. Kathy's self-destructive behavior and Adam's unwavering love for her mirror the biblical story of Adam and Eve's fall and redemption. Despite the challenges they face, Adam and Kathy find strength in their love and their shared belief in the possibility of redemption. They work together to overcome their past demons and create a new future for themselves and their family. Adam and Kathy's journey culminates in the birth of their son, Cal Cal, raised with love and understanding, embodies the hope for a new generation, untainted by the sins of the past. As the novel concludes, Adam reflects on the interconnectedness of human destiny, acknowledging the impact of past generations on the present and the future. He recognizes that the struggle between good and evil is an ongoing battle within each individual, but that the potential for redemption and love always exists. What is the significance of the title East of Eden? The title is a reference to the biblical story of Cain and Abel, suggesting the novel's exploration of good and evil, sin and redemption. Who are the main characters in East of Eden? The main characters include the Trask family, Charles and Adam Trask, and the Hamilton family, particularly Samuel Hamilton. The novel spans several generations. How does Steinbeck incorporate the biblical story of Cain and Abel into the narrative? The novel draws parallels between the relationships of the Trask brothers, Charles and Adam, and the biblical story of Cain and Abel, exploring themes of jealousy, rivalry, and the struggle between good and evil. What role does Kathy Ames play in the story? Kathy is a complex and manipulative character whose actions have profound effects on the Trask family. She represents evil and is a central figure in the novel's exploration of human nature. How does the novel reflect the American experience? East of Eden is set in Salinas, California, during the early 20th century. 
The novel reflects the social and economic conditions of the time, including the rise of the American dream and the challenges faced by immigrants. What is the role of the Civil War in the novel? The Civil War is a backdrop to the events of the novel. The war has a profound impact on the Trask family and the Salinas Valley. How does Steinbeck depict the landscape of the Salinas Valley? Steinbeck vividly describes the California landscape, emphasizing its beauty and harshness. The setting becomes a metaphor for the character's internal struggles. What is the role of Lee in the story? Lee is a Chinese-American servant and a wise and insightful character. He serves as a confidant to the Trask family, offering guidance and contributing to the novel's exploration of cultural diversity. What is the significance of the Trask brothers' relationship with their father, Cyrus? The strained relationships between the Trask brothers and their father reflect the generational conflicts explored throughout the novel. What motivates Cal Trask's actions in the story? Cal's actions are motivated by a desire for his father's love and approval, leading him to grapple with internal conflicts and ethical dilemmas. What role does Kathy's brothel play in the narrative? Kathy's establishment becomes a symbol of corruption and moral decay, impacting characters who come into contact with it. How does the character of Cal grapple with his inner demons and conflicts? Cal struggles with feelings of inadequacy and the fear of inherent evil within himself. His journey is central to the novel's exploration of human nature. How does the novel portray the role of women in society during the time period it is set? The novel depicts the societal expectations placed on women during the early 20th century, exploring the limited options and challenges they faced. How does the novel conclude, and what is the overall message it imparts? John Steinbeck's East of Eden concludes with a message of hope and the possibility of redemption amidst the struggles of humanity. The novel's protagonist, Cal Trask, grapples with his own darkness and the weight of his family's history, but ultimately finds a path towards forgiveness and self-acceptance. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.